The three words that describe my Red Cross experience are blessings, desire, and compassion. Service, families, and fulfilling. I think the three words that sum up my Red Cross experience would be people, time, and commitment. I love it. I love the people. I've often said that there's no way in the world you could pay me enough to do this, but please let me keep on volunteering doing it. Working with the Red Cross is probably one of the most rewarding things that I've ever done. We never know when we might be the ones that need some help, but to be able to represent the Red Cross with people who have lost things and be able to help them recover and be a little bit of a part of that procedure is just a very, very rewarding experience. I guess it gives you where you realize that you're there's more to, to it than just you. Shaking a hand and a smile and a hug uh, is, is probably sometime uh, more valuable than actually giving the, the assets that we give, you know, because people that, when the people are hurting, they just want somebody to talk to a lot of times. And you stop and talk to them and shake the hand and smile at them and then, uh, you know, I'm a hugger, so I, I mean, I, I try to hug as many people as I can because, again, that's just the way, uh, the way that I think we should react to people when they're, they're in need, you need to help them. The reason I do Red Cross is because I see the devastation on the family's face and then I see the relief that they see that people care, they're going to take care of them, make sure they got a place to stay, they're going to have something to eat and they're going to have clothes to wear, especially when it comes to children. When you give them a stuffed animal or a coloring book and some crayons, you feel that they haven't lost everything. The payoff is when they come up and give you a hug and tell you thank you. You know, we didn't know what we were going to do, but now we know. And so just a hug or a thank you or a smile. You know, I come back because I know when I was 17 years old, I did CPR and saved a six-year-old child one time as a lifeguard. And it happened to be the first summer I was ever certified and doing anything with it. I went through what I did, and if I hadn't been trained, if I hadn't been right there at the time, you know, who knows what could have happened. With as many classes I've taught, I have to feel like it's affected some other lives. Maybe someone I've taught can help somebody. The one thing that uh, makes me so proud and uh, know that this was for me, when everything is all over and I settled in for the evening, just to see uh, how grateful and how thankful the families are when they come to me and say, we thank you. You know, just hearing the words, I thank you, is enough for me. It's certainly enough for me. And I've been doing it for over 15 years and I'm um, very excited about it and I want to continue to do it as long as I'm here on God's green earth. The thing that was different from my corporate life was that we were really out helping people through some real tough times in their lives and give them sustenance for a few days after these terrible disasters had occurred. I think we give them hope for a new phase of their lives. We keep coming back because of the, um, it's hard to explain, it's like the emotions that are involved, uh, it, it's, not, it's not like the, 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 the monetary rewards that you get from the job, it's an emotional kind of thing, a satisfaction, a peace, a contentment, uh, knowing that you're doing something that money can't buy, you're helping people, and no matter how much money you have, you, you can't buy that.